Chris. Food Simple Vegan. That's us. We're here to bring you some five ingredient Thanksgiving side dishes. Thanksgiving is one of our favorite times of the year. It's right around the corner, so we got you guys covered with recipes, and we know that you guys don't want super extravagant recipes. You might be busy during the holiday season. I know we are, and... So we're keeping things sweet, simple, and vegan for you today. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> so first up, we have some mashed potatoes. My personal favorite. Love them. We got some maple glazed acorn squash, and then we got, oh, that was my favorite. And then we got some cranberry sauce. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of cranberry sauce. I didn't grow up eating it. It's okay on Thanksgiving, for me. But it's a Thanksgiving thing, and we wanted to be able to make it, and so we did. And we're <laughs> super excited to share this video with you. Make these recipes, we know you're gonna love them. And that's it, so check it out. Let's Here we it. go. We're getting the party started today with some vegan mashed potatoes. So we have potatoes, almond milk, dill, fresh garlic, and some vegan chive cream cheese. We'll boil up our potatoes in a large pot until they become fork tender, which will take about 15 to 20 minutes. We'll strain them and then using the same pot, we'll add a little bit of water, and then we'll add some freshly minced garlic. We'll let that saute a bit for just a few minutes, and then we'll add in our potatoes that we just cooked up. We'll mash them up real good. If you don't have a mashing tool, you can always use a fork. Once they're mashed, we'll add in some almond milk, some fresh dill, and then the secret ingredient, which is some vegan chive cream cheese. We use the Kite Hill brand, but uh, you can use any other you want, and you can always add any other herbs that you want as well. But we find that one is best. We'll just finish it off with some salt and pepper. Mash it up a little bit more just so it's nice and creamy. And once your potatoes look like so, you are ready to go. I'm gonna be completely honest, mashed potatoes are my absolute favorite Thanksgiving side and I can eat an entire bowl and be totally happy with it. Top it off with some fresh dill and enjoy. And next up we're going to make a maple glazed acorn squash. You need acorn squash, brown sugar, pumpkin pie spice, maple syrup, and orange zest. So in a large bowl, we're going to just mix together all the ingredients. So we have acorn squash, the maple syrup, pumpkin pie spice, brown sugar, and the zest of half of an orange. It's easier to do if your orange isn't cut, but ours, ours was cut for the beginning portion of this recipe video, so bear with us. We're going to mix that together until everything is well coated, and then we're going to transfer it onto a lined baking sheet. We'll link our silicone baking mat down below if you guys want to check it out. And then any remaining liquid, we're going to just spread it on top to make sure all of the acorn squash is nice and glazed. Top it with salt and pepper if desired, and then we're going to pop it into the oven. And then we actually took the seeds from the squash and we washed them, and we are going to roast these and top the squash with them. So just spread them out onto a baking sheet, and we just topped it with salt and pepper. You can also add any other spices of your choice. Pop that into an oven to bake until golden, and you've got yourself a crunchy and salty snack. So once the squash is done, we're going to top ours with a few things. So we have some orange slices, we have sage, and we have some cranberries, and then we have the pumpkin seeds. I know the toppings are more than five ingredients, but we wanted to make it super cute for you guys. Top it with some extra orange zest, and you are ready to dig in. Next up, we're making a cranberry sauce. We have cranberry, sugar, oranges, cinnamon, and maple syrup. Basically, all you need to do is add everything to a medium pot. So we have our cranberries, the maple syrup, our sugar. Next up, we're adding orange juice, and fresh is best here, so if you guys can juice your own oranges, I highly recommend it, along with cinnamon, and then some orange zest. You can add as little or as much as you'd like. We just added the zest of one whole orange. And basically, you're just going to cook this over medium heat for about 10 minutes until it cooks down. It cooks very quickly. You're just going to take the back of your spoon or your spatula and mash the cranberries. I highly recommend you use a spatula or something silicone for this because if you use wood, it's definitely going to stain it. So just mix it every once in a while, mash it every once in a while, and you want to reach the consistency of a thick jam. 
So after 10 minutes, your cranberry sauce should be ready to go. You can taste it and add more sweetener or more cinnamon or even more orange zest if you'd like, but it should be good to go. Honestly, after trying this recipe and seeing just how easy it is, you're never going to have to buy canned cranberry sauce again. So we are just styling it here for some photos and we wanted to show you guys the cranberry sauce all cute. We topped it with more orange zest and that's it. Thanks for watching y'all. We hope you enjoyed this video and try out some of these five ingredient recipes. I'm not sure why I pointed this way, but <laughs> let us know if you're team mashed potatoes, team egg corn squash, or, or team cranberry sauce, or if you're team something else on Thanksgiving, let us know what your favorite dish is. I think for, for Thanksgiving, I'm gonna get a shirt that says team mashed potato. Wow, night, wow. So. I'm gonna be team, well, Pumpkin pie is my all-time favorite out of everything, so maybe I'll get a team pumpkin pie. We'll okay, go right. head to head. Jeez. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just throw food at each other. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you loved everything. Did I say that already? I think so. All well, right. we just hope you enjoyed this video. Try out these recipes. Give us a like. Say hey down below. Hit that bell notification. Subscribe. Beep, beep, beep. All the I things. I think that's everything. Again, and I'm Chris. Jasmine. We're Sweetsable Vegan, and we post videos <laughs> every Wednesday and Friday, sometimes, sometimes Monday. Monday. You know, the whole crazy. thing. All right, we got to go, guys. So We're we'll out. see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.